Kia Koto and welcome to Dice Throne in about three minutes. It has no solo mode. It's a game for any number of players, but we're gonna focus on two. Playing time is short and it's a moderately simple game. In Dice Throne, two competitors enter, but only one leaves. In this frantic back and forth battle, can you defeat your opponents by upgrading your powers, timing your card plays, and boosting your dice rolls to deliver the ultimate attack? In the two player game, the winner is the player that reduces their opponent to zero health first. Card management. Cards can be used for a wide variety of effects. Variable player powers. Each class in Dice Throne has different cards and abilities. Dice. Unsurprisingly, a game called Dice Throne has a lot of dice rolls. Player turn. At the start of the game, set your health dial to 50 and your combat dial to 2. Then draw 4 cards and begin the game. One player will take a full turn and then the other player takes a full turn until one is defeated. In the income phase, you will gain one card and one combat point. Next is the first main phase, where you can play cards marked with the main phase icon. Each card costs a number of combat points shown here. Some cards are upgrades and they go onto your player board replacing the ability printed there other cards like this one can be played in the roll phases that follow each player has five dice numbered one to five with special symbols on them you can roll and re-roll these dice up to three times this roll here matches the symbol shown on the dead eye card we upgraded so we could choose to use that effect we can also use red bordered cards at any time and this one lets us change that five to a six five sixes allow you to use your character's ultimate attack which is unique and extremely powerful other actions require different sets of dice. This one, for example, requires a large straight of five numbers. It does damage, but also grants a positive status to your character. This is a token you can expend later to get a boost. Other status effects can be negative, and you want to apply these ones to your opponent. Let's say we attacked our opponent for seven damage. They then get to make a defensive roll. This roll is unique to each character. In this case, the samurai rolls three dice and checks the results. They do one damage to the gunslinger and prevent three damage. This means four damage gets through and their health drops to 40. You can also play attack modifier cards to do extra damage and effect. You then have a second main phase where you can also play cards, followed by a discard phase where you can discard cards to get combat points. And normally, the upkeep phase is the very first thing you do. Here you check any status markers that are on your character and resolve them. After the discard phase, it is now the next player's turn. Why would you like this game? Dice Throne is quite simply a fantastic Wii dueling game that plays fast and doesn't overstay its welcome. It's great for people who just want the fun of a good head-to-head -head fight without a ton of setup and rules. And the core rules are simple and intuitive, leveraging off the classic Yahtzee roll three times and keep system. And yet the classes provide different ways of playing the same core system. And each class has its own pace and gameplay wrinkles for you to discover. And while the early editions of the game had okay art and presentation, the later versions just look better and better. The best thing about this game is you can pick up enough to play in a very small box. More content is just more variety, but you can play the game with any one of these boxes. However, if you hate dice, you'll hate this game a lot. Ultimates are just better rolls than anything else, and there are ways to mitigate them. But if you play someone who is a dice Jedi, you're gonna have a hard time. The multiplayer system is okay, but for me it slows down the pace of what is really a rapid fire dueling game. Like a fast two player duel, but not dice? Try Star Realms. And for a cooperative game with similar dice mechanics, try The Reckoners. Dice Throne. It's basically Battle Yahtzee. Go battle game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, and come support us on Patreon.